You're listening to Truly Unruly with Marcus and Jessica Trufant. Truly Unruly. What's up, y'all? Episode six. How are we doing? What's good? What's good, man? We're good. Yeah, uh, I don't want to jump into the elephant in the room, the election. Uh, but uh, last time I saw you guys, uh, there there wasn't an election. Well, election hadn't happened yet. And yes. One's yes. happened. And yes. just to get it out of the way, I just wanted to have a nice little cel- celebratory shot hey, for us just being cheers. great Americans. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's America. Hey. America. America. America, baby. America. I like to be America. in America. All right. And this is like, whew. The evening edition because we're doing this sad. You guys are the chasers. Come on, just like I know. I usually don't. I mean, I don't need one, but you're adults. I I I am grown, so I usually don't. (laughs) I'm just messing with you guys. This is the night edition, so uh, we're recording this at night, folks. So, um, speaking for myself, if any demons come out, just know nothing (laughs) good. Nothing good happens after uh, nine o'clock over here. That's what they say. So yeah, but you guys been good. Was good week. Good weekend. Yeah. Yeah, it was a great weekend. Saturday was spectacular. Wasn't it? Yes, it was. How you feeling, True? I'm feeling good, man. Um, the weekends um, for parents with kids that are busy, well, involved, etc., in activities, it's not... Don't get to sleep in on Saturdays. Don't get to sleep there, in on Sundays. There are no weekends, but Yeah, still. we are busy, but it's good, though. It's a blessing. It's still a blessing. Do you, do you guys feel like COVID has slowed that down at all? Do you think if COVID not being what it is, would it be worse? Yes. And I don't even know yes. how it could possibly get any worse. But it would be worse, though. Yeah. Really? There yeah. would be more going on just with the activities, with yeah. the sports and with the yeah. school even and their yeah. extracurricular activities and the fundraisers, et cetera, et cetera. But, I mean, it is what it is. And do we, you hear the bangs upstairs? I do. Nothing yeah. good happens after right. 6 p.m. <laughs> and you might have to text somebody upstairs and I'm tell them to sit. I'm going to have the, to go upstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's neck ringing time. Go Truly ahead. unruly, right? Yeah. right? I am so happy that I could just from afar watch someone else go through raising five kids. Because oh. I don't oh know. Being outnumbered like that. And then in a pandemic and being outnumbered. Man. Like we- it can't be fun. Because there's an extra like barrier for everything. So they're, you know, extracurricular activities. Since you guys are busy, I guess. Yes. Um, how does it even work for them playing sports if you can't like be close to nobody are they running around with mask on no yes they yeah actually or they're like, not doing anything at right. all right well um going to soccer going to cheer you there's um these processes that you have to go through is that a word right there's protocol protocol not processes either one <laughs> there's processes but yeah yeah, yeah. there's things like you um come up to the door everybody checks in you got to do this you got to do that right and special mat to wipe yeah, yeah, your feet. Yeah, like. special mat to wipe your feet, um, mask in and out. And my um, oldest daughter was just saying, I was tumbling. I was trying to do this. I was trying to do that. And I had this mask on. It was so hard. So it's different. But things are happening. They are moving forward. Um, business, um, businesses like those, they, they need to move forward. Or it won't be any business That's if they're going to um, say, okay, kids have to separate and they can't be close to each other. They, um, and they'll go under. So right. they have to get creative and find ways to move forward. Are and they doing what, temperature checks too on all the kids? When I they, think so. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. yeah. And I think, so. I think with uh, cheer, this week is kind of a new thing where they are wearing masks while they're performing because essentially they're going to have to compete with masks on. How do you guys feel? I don't want to get like too weird because, you know, I'm yeah, a weird no, get guy. Weird, Kel. But, uh, get weird. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm a weirdo. But um, how, do you, how would you guys feel if they like required your kids to have a COVID vaccine to participate in sports? Mm. Do you agree with that? Because Pfizer just put out that their uh, vaccine that they're developing is 90% effective. Right. Which is kind of scary because, right, most vaccines, yeah, you can't have a vaccine be... Right. No vaccine like, is 100% I, you, know, not, is, you don't want an arm growing out of your head. Right. right. Out of a, from a vaccine that's only been, what, created maybe in the last, like, 
10 to 12 months. If we're going to be realistic. Um, I mean, look at the flu vaccine. The shit goes and there's a different strand that comes and it doesn't. Right. So Here's it's what's like, crazy. how are you? The flu vaccine is only 80%. Right. Mm. What? No vaccines. hundred percent. I think the last vaccine that's hundred percent was like fucking polio. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, how do you, as parents, like, are you guys, how do you feel about that? Like, it's not like your kid needs to be vaccinated because it's going to come into schools. It's eventually right. going to be a thing in schools. Where like, you're going to need to be COVID vaccinated to come to school. It's, I think that's going to be a real thing, though. And I think over time, it'll be more normalized after you get over the media scare and the hype of right. what the vaccine is. And it's not really media hype because we really don't know. I know we they, they've been pushing it forward as they should, but right. you just want to make sure it's right, man. So right. it's tough. And you want to look and see somebody else do it for, uh, exactly. first. And be like, you, you, all right, you, cool. You, and then, you, yeah, you so. and then, okay, then I'll do it. If you don't, if, like you said, if you don't grow something out of your arm, I'll try it. Right. I'm not saying I'm going to try it, but I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I definitely. How about don't you? Want what do you, What do you think? Oh, if me being hundred ten percent transparent, like my kids aren't getting that shit. Like <laughs> hell no. And They're then gonna... you have to decide. It's a business. Everything's a business. Right, so right. are you going to reject all of the kids whose parents probably aren't going to have them vaccinated because we're not sure about this shit at all? We're going to have a lot of homeschooling over here. Yeah. Let me tell you. So if don't do it, I'm oh. going to say so if if. Would you guys be open to the idea of full-time homeschooling? What is full-time? I'm doing full-time homeschool. But I mean continue for the next, for another year, another two oh, years. Oh, nah, playa, nah. That, I mean, it's cool, but uh, they need to go back to school. <laughs> and you we know a, we're we recording, Cassius. So you got to go We upstairs. have a special guest. Hmm? Why? Can you come upstairs? No. I go upstairs and I'll be up there in a second. Go, 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 go. Please bring your skinny self. Go, and, go, go, go. And you're on camera, so you're, uh, yeah, so go upstairs. Thanks, kid. Okay. We'll reset. That okay. happens probably. Yeah. Uh, I mean, well, we'll reset. It's Twenty fine. times a day of when we're trying to do. I'm so. surprised. So we, we leave it even, in. Leave it in. I'm, <laughs> I'm surprised we can even get through a piece of an episode. Like they, they sniff us out. It does not matter. Like it's, <laughs> it's weird. I can smell. The lock on the door was crucial. I, I. I um, Wait a minute. I no, know, he I know. just said that he feels bad that we lock the door every night, <laughs> and I'm like, like, dude, you fought. For the lock. I did. I was okay with the kids being in the bed with us because right. that's. I was one you track, know, oh, though. Mommy, I, was, I was one track one mine. Track and now mine. that right. they're like, Mommy, Daddy, can, now <laughs> can you, you, you open like, the door? I'm still one chip. track mine. But, but yeah. Really? Was, You're going to try and. You can't do that. I know. There's no take backs. I know. That's, that's true. Now I'm like, what? Get away from the door. Get away from the door. <laughs> like, literally. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> How long? How long did your kids like sleep in the bed with you guys? Um, were some that. kids longer than others? Was you there? Know, a, did you cut it off? Like, okay, we're done. You need to sleep in your bed. You know what's funny is because I was pregnant over the course of ten years, right? And I was pregnant, what, like an average of what, every two years. Probably, so probably right before six years, right before I was getting ready to deliver a child, we would make the other child get out of the bed. It oh. worked. It was it was a pretty smooth transition. Well, okay, sometimes. It, right. So, which sometimes. one was the worst? The first one, I think, was the worst because she was the. Mm. Nah, well. I mean, she was the worst kid. All, well, baby, none of but. the kids. Slept in a crib at night. Right. We tried to set up the that room and did all that cool stuff. The kids, the, the, the crib Even was a by crib in itself. our room. Yeah. I was going to say, did you guys skip the bassinet next to the bed? We did, and they, we tried it, but because I breastfeed, it was like, okay, do I really? And I was all scary and stuff with every kid, so I wanted to 
We were co-sleepers. Ooh, parents that don't believe in co-sleeping. My kids are all alive. And I was supportive. Um, I was supportive. Jessica. I wanted to, <laughs> What? <laughs> Sorry. I wanted to be supportive, so I'm like, yeah, uh, it's cool. But deep down, you're like, oh, man. Like, well, that's because I would have to, like, moms, there's something about us, like our intuition. And I would wake up, and he would pretty much have his whole arm across the kid. And I'm like... Move off our child, please. <laughs> Thank you. No proof of that. There's no proof of that. So I'll, I'll just say it didn't happen. But. but we did have one in a crib once. We did have one on a crib, in a crib, and... Uh, what happened? Carm? What happened? I don't know. We looked over, and she was standing up in her crib, like... What's going on over like there? Like, pretty much, she was, she was entertained. So that oh. was like, <laughs> get off my mom! <laughs> Truly unruly, uncut, right? Uncut right there. Ooh, listen, I've been waiting to say this. You guys know. Listen, you parents know. Listen, they know. Y'all got five kids, right? There ain't no shortage of accident. Ain't, I can say there ain't no accident, and there ain't and, and there ain't there right. ain't no shortage of kids. There ain't no shortage of practicing. Right. So that wouldn't have been yeah. the time to be like, so sex is natural. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Dad, why are you and your big boys on mom? Like, you know what? what? I, because I think we've had a couple of we've had a couple of these. Hasn't Cassius asked a few things and we've been like Has Cassius walked in on you? Wait guys? a minute, somebody asked what kid what kid was it? I don't know. That I asked mommy why was dad somebody's asked why. Time out, time out, time out, time out. You guys have had your children walk in on you multiple times? Yes. Oh shit! Really? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. You just probably keep really? going, and you're not even paying attention. I just, really, yeah, Marcus? I'm, I'm, we're not like. Yeah. Oh, we're just laying like this. Wait, you some, know, somebody has cut. We. It was a. It was no. like a funny, funny story. But I do know that Cash sometimes he's like. So when when you and Daddy are in the shower together, do you guys like being in the shower together? Do you like? Do you do you like? And Daddy kisses you a lot. So and Daddy nosy. kisses you. A mental block, though. And then uh -huh. he got to the point where he was trying to like kiss really deep, and I'm like, dude, whoa, whoa, whoa. I <laughs> you get off your mama like that. And, yeah, get Marcus off your mama like that. Get off your mom. Hey. <laughs> so, he did now so, see there wasn't a block there. He's yeah, like, yeah. get off your mom. Get off your mom. Cause yeah. he's like, hey, this is my girl. And I'm like, oh, it's maybe. Kids me. are watching, I guess it's more of the get story. Off your mom. So well remember this though. The first woman you ever fell in love with was your mom. I'm his girlfriend. And the first man you ever fell in love with for woman is her dad. Mm -hmm. That's who that's how it that's how should be. I guess that's fair to say, right? right? But yeah. I don't, because they, they're, that's going to give you the first example. Like a dad's going to give his daughter the, the, the example of how a man is supposed to treat her, right? Yeah, right. You know, and vice versa. You know. Set the standard. Set right. the standard. Right. Yeah. But I don't think girls are like that with their dads. I don't know. Maybe like and like the long. I mean, the kisses were getting pretty deep. And I'm like, oh. well, you know, for boys, it's probably more physical. For girls, it's different. It's emotional and um, attachment, et cetera, et cetera. Right. But I'm like, okay, we are we are sitting at a dinner table with a whole. Bunch <laughs> we were in Vegas for New Year's, and yeah. he was like trying to like really give me Happy New Year, give me the business. And I'm like, <laughs> dude, back up. I, I think God, more than anything, we look like just, a couple. Well, I think more than anything, it is it's just he watches his dad, and his dad is his hero, so he. Right. Mimics everything after that's, his father. That's what he so thinks. it's just, oh, well, dad kisses mom like this, so it's okay. So How I'm going to. How did we get kiss. on this topic? I, I, I love know. it though. I like How it. How did we get on this topic? Well, of just kids a, yeah. kitchen. Well, well, it's, it's a good conversation. I mean, well, no, it's a great conversation. Well, no, it's pretty the, funny. We got to the topic because of we were. I asked how your kids have walked in on you guys and how I'm terrified of that. And then you said, you know, your son gave you a, a deep kiss. Because he loves his mom. And lots of rubs and stuff. But um, Open mouth, too, I think. He what open mouth kissed you. It Marcus, was, stop open mouth kissing your wife in front of getting, your children. It was getting, <laughs> it was, I'm like, okay, buddy. Uh, but, yeah, no, the kids, I, you just got to know how to play it off. So, does, like, I don't know. With the kids being home all the time, 
because of COVID and like the stuff that you guys like probably used to do and were able to do when the kids weren't home, like, does it make it hard sometimes for you guys, like when you want to be intimate during the day? Because I know there's times that you just don't want to be intimate at night and you, you, you see your wife, Marcus, and you're like, damn, my wife looking good. Or Jessica, you're like, mm, my, my darkness husband, you know what I'm saying? And you want, and, and, like, do you feel like you have to make appointments sometimes to be intimate? Yeah. That sucks. Heck yeah. He'll tell me to, he tells me to put it in my calendar. <laughs> <laughs> I got to make sure you're free, right? He's I got to like, make sure. all right, yeah. at 1235, meet me upstairs. And I'm like, no. But yeah, no, just put it in your calendar. Yeah. Oh my God. Do you guys have code words? No. You should start having like code words, like text messages be like, we need to go have a meeting. Yeah. My whole thing used to be like, meet me in the boneyard. <laughs> that was my thing. Meet me in the boneyard. Meet me in the boneyard. Yeah. Dominoes. Dominoes. Meet me in the boneyard. Meet me, in the boneyard. Meet, meet me upstairs. You know. Pretty much. Pretty but much. But you know what, though? I think it's not so much even COVID. It's just big families, kids in general, with you. Um, Nowhere to hide. And you get a bunch of kids. It starts to make the house small. I don't care I'll how big your house is. Yeah. yeah. Right it doesn't on. matter. Yeah. So kids are there. Kids. Everybody's needy. Everybody is different. Every kid, you know. Right. They want to be attached to mom and dad. That's just how it works. And we want to give them that. But and we at, like them being yeah. attached. But at the same time, sit yeah. the hell, get the hell away from me. At the same time, it started with us. So we have to make sure. And we do a good job of making sure that we take care of us. Yes. And we make time for us. And that's what... Um, that's why we're still married. It's great about us because we know that it's not, of course it's about the kids and we support our kids 197.7%, yeah. but we got to have our time too. So you, and, and that's how you make everything work. Everybody, there has to be a compromise and that's even for the kids. And that's, that's not a bad thing to say. That's why I don't, I don't understand think. why you're yeah. like getting all soft about the door being locked. I have moments too, and that's okay. And you have your moments, I have mine. I right. was like, yeah. But oh, to his like, point, a lot of people are like, you have this big old house. I'm sure you can just get away from your kid. Mm. Like I said, they sniff us out. I could be down in the very basement in the very back corner of a closet hiding. They'll find me. You've done that. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, are doing the, Yeah, yeah. yeah. Trying to be on the phone or are you doing something on social media? They, and you want a quiet place and they... They find us. Mom, mom, mom. And they find her. It's like, crazy. Uh, does, I don't know. Does, does one kid want more attention than the other or is it pretty equal? When, in that regard. Um, I mean, they have their moments. Like our seven-year-old. See? Moments like that. When you don't know your kids' ages, their names, their birth dates. Yeah. Our seven-year-old, I think because she, she really did get the shaft because she was very little <laughs> when we got pregnant with Cassius. So she kind of got, like, pushed to the side. So she craves a lot of attention. Not so much. She's gotten better, but, mm -hmm. yeah, no. Is it like a middle child syndrome kind of thing? She ain't even the middle it, child. Like she ain't even the middle child. Nah. It's just she a lot of kids syndrome. She was supposed to be the last, and I think A lot she of kids that. syndrome is what it is. And so we, we make it a point to make sure that we support each yes. child as much as we can. I know it's, it's tough and it's hard to make it even, but we do our best. And right. we, we um, try to make it a point. We Everybody's sure activities. All celebrated Everybody on a daily, each other. okay, That's good. if you want to do this thing, okay, you got to show me a magic trick. I had to go through that last night. I was tired as hell. And the kid was like, yeah, I got a magic trick to show you. And I was like, oh, okay, but all right, cool. And I'm texting yeah. him. I'm upstairs about to lock the door. What are you doing? He's like, oh, I'm downstairs messing with the kids. And I'm like. Right. But that's the trade off. And we support each other. And sometimes it's Jessica doing that. And I'm right. upstairs trying to get some rest or whatever. Right. But yeah, I mean, there's definitely like things that you definitely don't feel like doing as a parent that you got to do it. You, you yeah. do it anyway. I saw a TikTok of yours one time, Marcus, with your daughter. I think it's on the Truly Unruly page. And I could tell you were. I look like a zombie in the face. <laughs> Over it. Was it this one with you and Cassidy? It might have been. In fact, I had what, to. Like, she's standing God. next to you. I remember you guys kind of hug, and she's just cheesing. Yeah. You're just right. like. 
<laughs> First of all, that was probably had to be done in like the slow motion. But you have to. That's so what you're saying. I don't. Sorry. I don't got the five, six, seven, eight. I don't got the eight count, which I do, and the kids support me in that. But um, huh. yeah, the lie so detector determines you. <laughs> But you got to give them their time. Though. You have to. As a and parent. that's just what it right. is. As a parent, five kids is tough. Right. I tell my younger brothers, cousins, people, fam. Don't do it. Everybody, take your time. Because it's, I mean, Don't it's not it. what it looks like. Right. They see us and they see us, you know, they see us winning, et cetera, et cetera. But it's not easy, bro. No, it's we're not losing. Easy. We are outnumbered. We are, we are screwed. But I think you guys do it with grace. You guys do it well. And you, yes. And you guys carry it well. And you guys do a great job with it. So give yourself you. more credit. Thank you, you Kel. Really I tell job. her that all the time. Give yourself more credit. Because she's really the... I'm just the support. I'm the assistant pimp of well, this the, thing. You're so, the assistant pimp? So <laughs> and she's doing the real pimp and they're really making it happen. And yeah. I'm just there to support it. Like as far as, you know, the homeschool dealing with... All the girls on the day to day and all the stuff that comes with that, I'm uh, I'm there to support and I guess to rub everybody's back and to make sure things are going good. But I mean, I couldn't do it without her. I couldn't even imagine trying to go through this without my wife. That's so that's hold on. Let me put my, let me put all sixty five of these clip ins yeah. forward for that. Mm. Oh, so. there goes my pillow. Um, but vice versa, I couldn't do it without you. You okay. are. This man is, I know it's like, guys are, are supposed to be this, and the wives do. He participates in every single thing I do that is pertaining to the kids. He is hands-on. He is always there. He is their hero, and he's my hero. Hey, all right. Thanks, Everybody Brian. can take a page out of your book. Yeah, Brother Darkness. Should I want to be more Brother like Doc you? Brother Darkness. Brother Darkness. <laughs> I appreciate it, Dylan, for giving me some light today. Hey! Woo! <laughs> Everyone, Marcus, for some reason, thought he was looking too dark on the camera. Hey, I thought he looked man. fine. Hey, give me some shine. Give me some light. Well, you don't want I shine, did, but maybe some light. That's what my grandpa <laughs> used to always say, man. I need some light. I need some light. Because he was Brother Darkness. He was Brother well. Darkness, too? Yeah, Word. So. Oh, with the school stuff, uh, Jess, how's the transition been? Is it better than it was? Has it become easier with the homeschooling yes that's good. it is deaf we're in we're in a routine now that's good at first the first couple of weeks i was like why why did i do this why did i do this and it has nothing to do with their old school nothing to do i just want to make that clear it was my personal decision because of covid that I didn't want to have to do the back and forth and the whole, you know, we might get shut down this and pull the kids out, bring them back. I didn't want to do that. Mm -hmm. But in hindsight, maybe I should have done that because it's, it's, it's difficult. But you know what? It is, it is rewarding at the same time. I get to give them one-on-one -on -one attention. I get to see how they really learn. And I'm also learning that neither one of them can multiply properly, which is really weird to me. And, um, yeah, so I, I really get to spend a different type of time with them. And they get to spend a different type of time with each other because I homeschool my fifth and my sixth grader. And even though they are 19 and a half months apart, the maturity level is huge. That's and good. my sixth grader is more you know, vibes more with my ninth grader. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have them work together. But That's awesome. I don't recommend it, homeschooling. <laughs> Do you guys think you guys would have been able to get through homeschooling as young people? Oh, no. Absolutely oh, not. I would be, no. CPS would have been at the house for me <laughs> to save me. Not even, I mean, for me, I was a, I was a good, uh, or I I, I, uh, I don't hate on it though. I feel like you were was, a good student. I was you locked went to in. Magnet school. Yeah, I was locked in. I wanted to do well, and I I tried hard, but that doesn't mean I got good grades all the time. No, mm -hmm. but I was willing, and I put forth the effort, and um, I got extra help. I did everything I needed to do. Um, right, and I said fuck it. So you know, uh, and that's even in college. I went to summer school every year, 
uh, oh, wow. in college, sometimes to make up for courses that I needed to clean up and um, at times just to because I was there anyway for practice, et cetera. But um, it worked out. But I've always had that mentality that I want to do well. I want to put my best foot forward. And I think that would have carried over to so, homeschool. So you were a good can, student. Can we... I was a. Uh, Can we get a standing ovation? Thank you, thank you. I, I'll take a like, bow for that. I you were, you sound like you were a good student. I was an okay student. Um, well, like you tried. Yes, there right. was some stuff I struggled with. I struggled with math all the time, and I, I never, um, even though I tried as hard as I did, got to tutoring, I would still come up with C's. Hey, mm-hmm. that ain't bad. So math is hard. I don't care what anyone right. says. And my daughter, who's getting a four point right now. Whose child out. is this? It's not either one of ours. Carmen, who yeah. has a four point oh, yeah, yeah. So she has a. So I was telling her I never achieved that as a student. So this is something to celebrate. That's awesome. So I want her to really know that this just isn't a normal thing, and you're doing a damn good job. Right. So it, it's yeah. really important, and um, that she knows that she's doing a great job because she's just naturally just on it on it and it's she's awesome. you yeah it's crazy but except that she's smarter smarter than me i could never get there <laughs> right. I, I, yeah i worked hard i was just grinding grinding but it it just didn't happen so i mean she's got a 4.0 at a really hard school yeah yes. good for her and taking honors classes good for her yeah so jess you know i'm gonna ask you oh don't ask me what? were you a good student Hell no, I wasn't a good student. Were you kicking it? Was I even in school? No, I was not in school. Wait, time out. Were you one of those kids that were like on the verge of truancy? Yeah, all the time. See, I never understood that. What? Okay, like truancy. You just have to fucking show up. Like, I, I don't do want not to show, show up. up. What are you doing all day? You're 16. What are you doing at you know what? one o'clock in the afternoon? There was a group of us friends. And my friends, some of them smoke cigarettes, and I would take a cigarette, but I wouldn't light it, and I would pretend like I was smoking with them, and we would drive down to Federal Way and go to this grown woman's house that was just like, hey, come on and kick it, and we would sit there. She needs and, to be in jail. You know what? And we would sit there, and we would hang out. And yeah, it was I said just, it. If the just, parents would have known it. what their kids were at and what they were doing. hmm she might have gotten more. I mean, it was we were driving from Brenton a fe- right. federal way to go hang out. We would just be like, peace out, school. I guess there's always those parents, so that yeah. are, I guess, a little bit more. I mean, I knew parents. On the lenient yeah, side. Oh, yeah. I knew parents that were like, oh, you guys are over here getting hammered. Okay, great. You just you can get as hammered as you want, but you're not leaving. Right. I don't think she was a parent. I think she was just an older a auntie. Type like of, I a friend, don't. She had befriended, the, you know, a homie, lover, a homie, like friend. an older homie. She was an older homie. She might have been one of them older ladies that was, you know, like was one of your homegirls kicking it with her or no, like. No, I don't think so. Because she might have been a pedophile. No, well, maybe it like real talk, like that yeah. happens. She could have been a pedo. It maybe, but we would go over there, like literally. I would fake smoke cigarettes, and then we even organized a fight between two, two, one of our friends, and then another friend that lived in Federal Way, and we met in the park, like st- you know, Marcus, that, stupid stuff like that. Marcus, written. Your wife is ghetto. Written. Oh. Would that be steadily throwing shade on Tacoma though? I like. Know. Right. You're like Tacoma or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, I'm that shit. That's Tacoma yeah, too. Come on, too, yeah, but. come on. Come you guys is just like Tacoma. It's not worse, though. <laughs> there, it was a select few of I've us. I've seen a lot. I'm not gonna <laughs> downplay that. I've seen a lot in Tacoma. <laughs> right. And and that's okay. I'm okay with that. I, hey, I got love for the city. That's where I'm born and raised. I'll never turn my back on that. But not, let, let's not act like. Other places is but not. we were bad. Like the whole freshman class, when we came in our freshman year, we got banned from Safeway, we got banned from Pizza Hut, we got banned from Taco Time. You guys get banned from the Wendy's too? Not the Wendy's. We got banned from going off campus. They oh, set the man. whole campus rule to where you couldn't leave until you were a junior and a senior because of our freshman. Are we class. gonna let our kids off campus? Then, uh, Why school? not? Yeah. You think they'll be okay? What do you mean? We went off campus to fight and eat. I know. I would prefer our kids to eat in the lunchroom at school and <laughs> make sure they have a proper meal. A and proper meal? Yep. 
please. And the lunch lady and the scoop and all that. Uh, the, I there, would prefer that, but I know it's different. But were they uh, were they lunch lady scooping in high school? I remember. I eating. knew the kids with the free lunch did. I was eating I was, nachos. I was, I was too busy eating the cup of noodle with hot sauce in it. I was one of those guys. The ladies and were the scooping. Deca, it. Yeah. Or is it the Deca Center where they had Pizza Wednesday? Come on now. The student store. Yes, yeah. students. I knew the lunch lady, and she used to give me an extra chocolate milk because I'm just I'm just being me, and I was a nice guy. Uh, You're so talking yeah. about elementary school. No, I'm, I'm talking about high school. You got an extra chocolate Where'd milk. Where'd you go what again? What kind of weird Wilson High School? You went to Wilson. Wilson. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you were drinking chocolate milk in high. That's that's I just disturbing. stopped that's drinking gross. chocolate milk a couple years ago. Your hey, you know guts that have to be bad. Nah, man, I'm natural. Oh so I'm God! Hey, you're one of those brothers that drink milk. Not anymore, Not because anymore. our kids, then they have issues. But I used to, Jess, when I first met you. No, not when you first. It stopped just like no, but six years. A full long glass night. of whole milk. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. you drink milkshake? Whole, whole milk. Whole milk. Whole milk. Oh. Not half, not skim. I know, I know. Whole, I know. fat, whole. Kid. I'm a real American. <laughs> a whole milk and you cookies. You drink whole milk. I Marcus. used to. I don't drink milk no Mark, more. I, I understand it. Yeah. Marcus. You're off the Marcus. Stuff? Yeah. Marcus Trufant. Yeah. That is milkshake milk. That's what I grew up on. Do you see some of his posters? App for milk? When he has the thing oh, milk. Oh, he did do the got he, milk thing. He lived that. He literally lived that. That wasn't a lie. That was him. Black folks can't be drinking... Good for you. Your stomach is like hey. made of steel because like I, <laughs> I drink whole milk. Drink milk like in I'm getting sent to the ER, bro. That's all I knew. And wow. Yeah. And you don't really. Mm. Whole milk. Wow. That's like I'm kind of fascinated right now. Like you drink. Right. Whole- and I like skim and two percent. I'd be like, though. Mm, no, I can't drink this. So this is I need all the fat and pus. This isn't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I need all the. I need all the pus. nutrients. All the fat and pus, yeah. <laughs> the bones being strong. Well, the muscles. Why he made it to the NFL because he drank whole milk. You know that's what it was. Now you know that we're the only mammal that drinks another mammal's exactly. milk. Like we that's not. not. That's not right. I didn't know that at the time. Okay. Okay. Let me set it. Okay. So we're we're at dinner, right? Like maybe we're like even at a nice restaurant. So we sit down and the food comes out. Uh, or we're placing our order, and he's like, yeah, can I get a steak and this and this? And then he goes, oh, and uh, um, can I have a glass of whole milk brought out with my meal? What the f- Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, so, yeah. You okay. had whole milk with a steak, bro? What's wrong with that? Everything is wrong with that. Like, you so ne- can I have a glass of whole milk? How about you get a nice glass of a nice Argentinian, like, Malbec <laughs> red wine with your Who steak? Who says that's the thing you have to do, though? Okay, no one said that's that what right. yeah, No one yeah, says so. what you have to do, but flavor palette-wise... And you got to remember where I come from. I come from Tacoma, right? Don't play that Tacoma. That does not mean you drink whole milk. No, 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 Wait, 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 wait. What you're exposed to and what you're... What you're raised around is what you know. yeah. What you know. So I didn't know about any wines or... That's fair. I didn't even know what a good restaurant was. There were... I mean, our good restaurant was Cheesecake Factory. It, but. Back in those days, maybe the Olive Garden was, you know... Those I guess bread. shout out to Olive Garden. Hey, that's still good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's still but, that's but the bread sticks are bomb. <laughs> that's as far as I went. I tell people all the time, I came up to Seattle. I got drafted to Seattle 2003. I'm looking around in the city like I'm in a foreign country. I had never been to downtown Seattle like that. It, coming from Tacoma, it was Aww. like a, a whole different world. Pause. What does that have to do with you drinking whole milk? I'm just saying, <laughs> you only know Up what until you know. Recently. You only know what you, you know. know though. You only know what I you know. I didn't drink though. whole milk. So you go into these high class restaurants, etc., and order whole milk. And you go to restaurants. I'm asking for steak sauce. I'm asking for Heinz 57 and all types so of stuff. So you didn't know that a good steak didn't require steak sauce. Exactly. And I you're disrespecting you. the chef too. <laughs> but yeah, right. And yeah. can I get some Heinz 57 on the side with that? That's, I, that's, <laughs> that's not how it works, but you only know what you know. <laughs> no, I and didn't. You're coming from what I come from. Not that it's a bad thing, but I didn't know when you, but you got to grow into things. So I'm, 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 I'm I didn't know either. You, I know. He's right. I know you didn't know. I didn't know either, but I for damn sure Written. didn't drink whole milk. <laughs> That's because you wasn't able to. If you was able to, 
So wait, were you going into like the Met or like Daniel's asking oh, yeah, for a glass yeah. of milk? With dessert sometimes. Yeah. With dessert, okay, I get with right, like, yeah. like chocolate cake or something. Or you would ask with dinner sometimes too. That's true, too. that's true. And don't, don't and let I wasn't him, shame don't about it. Don't let him you. Hey. Wow. And to see that big, clear glass filled with thick, white, Puss. nasty ass whole milk. Natural. Oh, Lord. Has COVID made your family closer in the sense of that you guys are actually spending almost every waking moment together? Like, are you learning stuff about your kids that you're like, wow, like, I didn't know that, you know, um, she's into this or yeah, Cash is into yeah, that. Yeah, we've learned some stuff that they're into. Um, and like I said, that if they can't properly multiply, little, little things like that. Um, but yeah, no, I think... I don't know. I think we're just used to spin. I don't know. What was I the would question? say. I forgot, I forgot it again. Oops, I forgot it. And I haven't even taken that shot. What was the question? Sorry. I would say that the time. Um, okay, so just getting back. There's a lot of stuff from COVID that has been um, negative and um, everybody's world is flipped upside down. But what COVID has forced families to do, what COVID has forced us to do is kind of slow down and take the time to um, look at our family dynamic and pay attention to it because we don't really have a choice. Right. Things are, yeah, things are the way they are and you were moving, you know, fast. Okay, this kid has this activity. This is going on. School's going on. And let's hurry up. Let's hurry up and hurry up. But it's a little bit slower now. So that's, that's, might be the only good thing about COVID. Right. It, it, it um, makes you slow down and really pay attention to what's going on with the family, whether right. that's good or bad, stressful or not, but you have to pay attention to what's going on. Right. And not even us, for our kids, they were able to slow down. Right, yeah. Because right. they go, 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 and they got a well-deserved break. Yeah. From um, I agree. everything. So I think it, in the beginning... It benefited us all. And we were able to kind of think outside the box a little bit because we're like, <clears throat> we got to entertain these little, ah, what are we going to do? So we started doing, like having skating parties down here and all that kind of stuff. I know, skating parties in your, I know. Anyways, yeah, skating parties down here. And so that was, that was something that was cool. That but at the same time, COVID. but now yeah. it's not cool. But at the same time, we had to set new rules, set new boundaries because they are here all the time. You're not leaving the house and going to school and coming back. So, you know, the lock on the door. Right. And mommy and daddy to eat all the time. need time to, you know, unplug and relax because, you know, mom is going all day with the homeschool and she's doing that. So you can't be on Mommy, mommy, mommy. She needs time to relax, too, to be able to be recharged for the next day. So setting new rules, setting boundaries. Even though they, uh, I know. <laughs> that was the beatbox. <laughs> but mommy, daddy need time to recharge, too, to be able to come back tomorrow. So you had to set those new rules, new boundaries. Right. So. And stop eating. Are they just eating everything, Jess? Yes. If I have to... Place an Instacart order at least seven times a week. They are running through things at a crazy... It's disturbing. Now, are they running through perishables or non-perishables? They're running through everything. Costco run. They're running... I do cost Instacart. I do Costco and Instacart. They run through... The, they run through everything? They on, just... It's really? Just, it's weird. Okay, so they'll run through something and then I'll buy more of it and then they're done with it. And they, they're like, we want something else. So I buy that. They run through that for a week, and then they're done with it. And so my thing is, is this is where school really kind of helps out. Mm -hmm. And I ain't got to provide all these snacks and these right. meals for these kids. They're coming up to me, Mommy, what are we going to eat? Didn't I just cook two days ago? Why did you, like... Right. It's a lot. Like, jeez. You guys aren't on the listen. Whatever I buy you, you're gonna eat it. How or does that not work out well? Well, back to having five kids, we're outnumbered. So everyone has a different like palate. 
They Does everyone do. like something different? Oh, that's they a, do. But that's we're trying annoying. to. At least me and Jess, at least me saying I'm trying to encourage. I know Jessica likes to cater to each kid, you know, okay, I cook dinner. I Jess cook two has been meals. to, yeah, she makes two meals and I don't come from that. I know you don't come from that. Oh, I did not come from but that. But mm-hmm. we've made that decision to do that for our kids. But I'm like, okay, if they don't want to eat it, then they don't eat or you find something to eat on your own. To, to, to put that stress on you is. I'm, I'm there now. They'll eat, especially COVID. They'll eat when they're hungry. I know it's hard to like, duplicate. Yeah. You if you're going to do that on a regular, cook two meals for each kid, I like this or I don't like that. <sighs> hey, if you don't like it, you don't eat. Well, now, if you right. don't want to catch this dinner, I mean, hey, yeah. catch some sleep. Are you can catch these hands? Is that- <laughs> nope. You <laughs> not catch these hands. Like, yeah, you guys. Well, when nice. we were little, you can catch these hands. Yeah, two. Yeah, you can't do that now. I used to be throwing up my green beans into a napkin and like. Two wait, so each get two meals and you pick which one. Yeah. Nah. Somebody doesn't like this, so I'm gonna have to cook mm-hmm. a little bit extra to mm-hmm. take but it's five kids, Kale. And you gotta remember that. It's five they kids. They, so they're different. You, you they need, don't all like the you same. You better food. buy that big old bag of chicken nuggets and french fries, and we're gonna do dino nuggets and fries if you can't make your mind up. Yep. Especially for the little people. Somebody Rice decided and chicken they didn't was like my dino thing. Nuggets. So I had to stop buying that too. It, they like really? taquitos, Costco. Oh, taquitos. Taquitos from oh. Costco. They are pretty good. They ru- the Kirkland yeah. ones. They run. Through. Those are fire. Yeah. They run through taquitos. So, yeah. Are you guys already took your shot? Are y'all. I already took a shot. Oh. I'm. My bad. I'm. Cheers. Here's Cheers what's funny: is I don't time. drink. I'm not a drinker like that at all. Really? No, I'm a medicine man. <laughs> so. To, mm-hmm. This is the most that I ever drink is when I'm dealing with you guys. And by the time I'm done, I'm feeling great. But don't put that on us, Kale. Don't no, do us like that. Great. No, no, no. Because no. I don't drink a whole lot, but I drink okay. just enough. All right. And it's good. And, I was, and, it's, and it's a good like, atmosphere. Social. Yeah. Right? And I'm like, damn. Oh, my like, gosh. Damn. Like, all these years, I didn't drink until I started hanging around the Trufants. Hey, and now they're making a me a slosh. No, I'm kidding. Actually, Kale, that's a lot of people's story. Really. I don't drink unless I'm around you guys and you guys bring it all out of me. And But we like to keep the party going. Of course, yeah. we like to entertain and we like people. We like good people. So, Kel, we classify you as good people. All right. Yeah. yeah. Hey. And Dylan. Hey. Yeah. yeah. So you guys is good people. So we just want to. Because here's the thing. If, if I had it my way right now. Shout I mean, out to Stretch. It, listen, yeah, Stretch. 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 Because it's, it's legal in the state of Washington. If I had it my way right now, I'd be rolling stuff up and be lighting stuff up. See, uh, then. But I'm not going to do that. I would have to. We would have to edit this entire podcast. This entire thing. And, I'm, and, and I don't want to. I don't want to be the reason. You know, I mean, my shirt says Greenside Medical. Yo, shout out to Greenside. Seth, what's good? You know, where's that at? Uh, Lakes. So it's great. Greenside Recreational. They are in uh, Lake City Way and okay. off of Pack Highway. Okay. My two of my really really good friends started this. Shout a long, out to long Greenside. I like nice. that. Shout out to Greenside. Um, that's my family. Okay. But yeah. Like I said, I'm a medicine man. Like, mm-hmm. So there's nothing wrong with that. And nothing wrong with that at all. There's nothing wrong yeah. with that. And speaking of shout fair. outs, shout outs to loyalty before royalty apparel. Nice. This is my family as well. My brother cousin. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, it's pretty dope. And it has meaning. Loyalty before, before royalty. That's I, deep. That's I like heavy. that. I like that. Well, this was a great episode. I like yeah. it. I enjoyed we, we this We touched one. on a lot of different yeah. things. I enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm still going to walk away with this thing with <laughs> you and whole milk. milk, which I'm never going to wrap my head around, but it's fine. Hey, I'm just being the best me, man. And that got me. That was a big part of my life. Into my 20s, I, I drank whole milk. Wow. Every day, Possibly probably. your 30s. All right. I enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed this one. I, yeah. All right. I, we're going to stop because <laughs> Marcus is in his feelings. <laughs> Julia and Ruli, episode six. This was great. Uh, Marcus Trufant, Jessica Trufant. Uh, remember, follow us on Instagram, uh, Truly unruly underscore podcast uh, follow marcus trufant on instagram follow jessica fab five mom or fab yeah. the yeah. mom roman numeral for you 
people that don't know your Roman numerals. I don't. And uh, and if uh, remember, subscribe to us on a uh, on YouTube on Marcus's page, Marcus yes, Trufant, sir. and uh, listen to us on Apple Podcasts, mm-hmm. um, Podcast One, and Spotify. Till next time, y'all.